So these seat belts were not retracting and they're off of a 92 GMC Sierra, but I'm sure all the GMC belts from that era are pretty much a similar design. So in order to fix these, you don't have to fully disassemble them, but you do have to remove the spring cover. Let me show you how you do that right now. So I already popped this off, but the way you do it is on this side, there's a little spot to get a flat head in. So you can pop it in off. There's three little uh, tab kind of deals that go into the uh, bracket. And now once those are all free, you want to be very careful you don't let the spring fly out. So what I did was I quickly got my fingers in there, slid it off of the shaft, and right there you can see the spring's in there, and then you could slowly keep your finger on it to keep tension and slowly let all the tension of the spring out, and it'll slowly rotate. You just don't want this shooting out because you'll probably never get it back in easily. But once that is off, you're left with this. And now, I also freed this up a little bit, but before it was impossible for me to turn this with my hand. So all I did was I sprayed some lubricant in these shaft ends, both sides. And then I took a drill with a flathead attachment and repeatedly did that at a fast rate, pull it out, do it again and again and again, and that'll work all the rust and all the junk that's holding it, you know, making it tight. And now at this point, I'm pretty sure if I was to tension that spring up, it would easily return because this is super free at this point. So let's get that spring back on and I'll show you how we tension it. So when we tension this, we're gonna wanna start with the seat belt all the way wrapped up because you want it to pull into this position. Wind it up. It doesn't have to be all the way, but because I have this cover off so it'll never fully sit in there like it naturally would in the car. But just so it's 90% there. Let's stop right around there. Then you're going to take your spring and you are going to start it on the shaft. If you see there's a little split in the center where the end of the spring is, that'll go right into the slot of the shaft where we're sticking that flathead. So we'll get that popped in. You wanna make sure that's in there. And also if your spring is broke, you're gonna to have to get another one. There's no repairing it at that point. So now that it's on, we'll just rotate. And depending on what side you're doing, you might have to rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, but this side is clockwise to make tension. So we're slowly, with every rotation, adding some tension. And then I'll pause and I'll just test it. Let's see. Not there yet. Add some more tension to it. What I've been doing is just kind of keep pulling it out, letting it spin. And it gets to a point where it kind of starts doing it on its own. And you know you're close at that point. So what I'll do is I'll spray in a little more lubricant. and let's just put another turn on this thing. So look at that. Basically there. I might do one more turn just to be safe. You don't want to over tighten this because that's probably where you could stress out the spring. It'll just snap on you one day, but I'm sure there's a good amount of leeway in these. Now this cap will only go on one way. You just pop it on, and just like that, we now have a retracting seatbelt again.